greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Let's Learn This Together. And today's video is gonna be an overview of the game we're gonna be creating in our Absolute Beginner series. So I showed it off a little bit in the last video, but I wanna go more in depth and talk about all of the topics and subjects that we're gonna cover and why this game, this project, is so great for beginners. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is the Flappy Clone game. So what we've got here is a main menu. So you're gonna learn how to create a GUI. It's gonna be animated. The buttons will actually change when you hover over them. We've got the ability to start and play the game. So if we click on this, here is the game itself. It's pretty simple. We're moving kind of slow, it's kind of easy. So we'll also have an options inside of here which we can go in and we can change it depending on what we wanna do. And this is moving between rooms with different backgrounds. We're also going to have a high score that is actually permanent. So you'll learn how to save data and load data into your game, which is useful for a lot of different reasons. But when we actually go in now, our game is different. We've got more speed. The spikes are actually going to spawn faster as we're playing. And it's, in my opinion, a lot more fun. You'll be able to change all of this to suit whatever you want to do. Now, as we're going through, you see we've got a lot of different spikes inside of here, and all of these spikes are actually just one object. And they are one object that we are holding inside of an array variable, and then we are choosing different sprites to set them as. So we're gonna learn how to use arrays and lists and how to access multiple kinds of data with just very simple array variables. So I think I'm almost to the high score. I just want to show it working. I think it was 112. So let's give that a try. So when we collide, we die. We have a different sprite. And there's our new high score. So in our room, we're actually going to learn how to use lots of layers. We're going to have multiple instance layers, multiple background layers. We're going to talk about depth. We also have some invisible layers like this barrier one, which when you're designing the level, it doesn't need to be in there, but we still want the object to be in there. So we'll talk about that. We're going to have lots of different things to learn about with coding. So we're gonna have built-in properties that we change. We're gonna learn about global variables and everything's we're gonna be commented along the way. If you like the project and you wanna just tinker around with it, you can actually download it as well from the description down below. We're gonna learn how to use the step event and learn how to do if and else statements to change the flow of our code based on certain conditions. We're gonna talk about collisions. And we're gonna learn how to use parents and inheritance. So we're gonna have a button parent and a collision parent. So these things like the start button, they're actually gonna share code with another object and we can set them all to do the same thing and we can set for collisions with a parent. We're gonna talk about all of that. We're gonna talk about uh, how to change rooms and set up multiple rooms inside of your game. We're gonna look at scripts. So we're gonna write our own functions to be able to save and load our games. We're gonna bring in music and sound effects and we're gonna learn how to play them and fade them between levels and rooms so that they sound good and they disappear. We're gonna learn how to use the music manager that we create to do that nice and smoothly. I'm gonna show you where to find sprites and how to ask for help and where to get assistance. All of that and even more is what we're gonna be doing in this project. Now, we will not be covering everything that Game Maker has to offer. There is just too much. So things like animation curves, extensions, we're not, notes are, well, notes are fairly self-explanatory. They're just notes that you can leave. But we're not gonna cover paths, sequences, and shaders, and tile sets, and timelines. I've got lots of other videos, and I've got my paid courses, and I have a book that you can buy if you wanna cover even more things like that. But for this absolute beginner game, the Flappy Clone, it's gonna cover everything you need to know to start making your own game. So by the end of this, you will have all the tools and know-how to start working on the game of your dreams. Whether that is a big game, a little game, something in the middle, you'll know how to start. There'll still be things you need to learn, but hopefully by the end, you'll know how to learn the things you don't know so that you can figure it out on your own, or at least you'll have the places to go to to get the help you need. So I'm excited, there's a lot here. We're gonna be talking about even more things than I could mention because there's more stuff in here than I can just list right here because there's just so much of it. 
But I hope you're excited. I know I am. But as we go through, leave comments. Let me know what you love, what you dislike, what you would change, and maybe the series will grow and shift as we make it together. But that's what I've got for you today. So keep making, keep learning, and if you're ready, I'll see you in the next video.